Just quickly, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mo Chan, I work as a data analyst within the financial services industry, and in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through my work from home desk setup. Let's start things with the main tag that's driving everything here in my desk setup. So I have a PC and I also have a MacBook Pro 14 inch. I use my PC for work and for other everyday tasks. So it's my desktop that's pretty much running all day. And then I use my MacBook Pro 14 inch for content creation and video editing purposes. So the PC that I have is a Intel Noc 10 i5. It's got the Intel i5 processor and it's got 500 gigs of storage and 16 gigs of RAM. And then the MacBook Pro 14 inch that I have is just the MacBook Pro 14 inch base model. So it's got the Apple M1 Pro chip, it's got 512 gigs of SSD, 16 gigs of unified RAM, and it's a very sturdy machine, great for content creation and video editing. The main piece of furniture I have is the standing desk right here that I bought from Facebook Marketplace for only 80 pounds, which is about $100 at the time of filming. I absolutely love this desk. I really didn't enjoy sitting around all day. It made me feel groggy and tired. So I love this desk because it gives me the freedom to move around all day. It makes me feel good. And it's an absolutely fantastic addition to my work from home desk setup. Moving on to the displays, I work with two monitors. I have the Dell 24 inch monitor in landscape mode and next to it I have the HP 24 inch monitor in portrait mode. So the Dell monitor to be exact is the Dell P2419 HC monitor and it is definitely my main monitor as I would say I do about 90% of my tasks on this one. And then the HP monitor, which is the HP Elite Display E242 monitor, is in portrait mode, and I mainly use it to double check some code, double check some Excel files, scroll through my Spotify playlist, or look at some YouTube, look at some tutorials on the side. I love this HP monitor because it's a 16 by 10 ratio, so it's just got that much more width to look at anything you want to. It's been with me all the way since the beginning of COVID, so I've moved about three, four times now since then, and I think I've developed some kind of emotional attachment to this one. I know it looks pretty ugly, I would say, with the big bezels, but it's been with me for a while and I like it, so I think I'll just keep it. Both monitors are on the Ergear Duo monitor arm, which is great because I can move them up or down, tilt them, rotate them, which is super helpful when I want to adjust my viewing angles. This keyboard here, the Vessels V84 75% mechanical keyboard, is the perfect keyboard for me. I've been through so many keyboards, so many keyboard layouts, and I know that this is the one forever for me. I love the sound of it, I love the feel of the keycaps, I love the layout, I need the F keys, I use them on an everyday basis in my day-to-day -day job to press various shortcuts, and I also need the buttons on the side, the delete, the home, and the page up and down buttons. The keyboard came with this leather wrist rest, which initially I thought I wasn't gonna use at all, but it actually feels so smooth and nice, and it's just so comfortable to rest your hands on it, your wrist on it, that now I use it every single day, all the times. I actually cannot even imagine typing without a leather wrist rest now, which is probably a bit of an extra, but hey, I do type a lot. On the mouse front, I have a really basic solution. The brand is Infic. It's just a basic black mouse. It does the job well. Cost me only about 10 quid, which is about $12. And it goes with my black setup. Next up, audio. My main speakers are the Creative Pebble speakers. I bought them because I really like the aesthetics of it. They look nice, they weren't expensive at all, and they sound decent. Now, I'm also on a lot of Zoom calls, so I have two sets of earbuds. I have the Soundpeats Air wireless earbuds, so these are non-noise cancelling, because I just don't like the feeling of being plugged in all day long when I'm on calls and only hearing my voice or someone else's voice. I think it drives me crazy by the end of the day. I also have the Soundcore by Anchor Live P2i earbuds, which are noise cancelling, and I use these when I really want to immerse myself in the music, just so I have some noise cancelling headphones as well. Okay, it's accessory time. So the biggest accessory I have is this big desk mat right here. It's 100 centimeters by 43 centimeters. It is pretty large, it can fit a lot of things, and it goes well with my dark setup. I also have this Nutrifresh bottle here. It keeps my drinks cold or hot. I drink everything from water to tea to coffee in this one. 
And to go with the bottle, I also have a wooden coaster. And there we go. This is how I use it during the day. I also have an echo dot that is hidden behind my portrait mode monitor. Here we go, let me just drag it out. And here we go, there's the echo dot. So I use this mainly to play some music during the day so it doesn't get too silent and use it to control my smart home, such as the smart lights at home. On the light front, I have this industrial looking black retro iron desk lamp in the back. It's got a smart bulb in there, which is great because I can adjust the brightness and the colors. And I have this Team Talk light bar at the top of my main monitor. This is an absolutely fantastic addition to my home office. It lights up the area that I need exactly, and it saves me space by lifting up the light onto the top of my monitor. So I cannot imagine living without one now. On the top of my light bar, there is a basic webcam. It does 1080p. It's nothing special, it costs me about 10 pounds, which is about $12. So super inexpensive. Now for the phones, my work phone is just a basic iPhone 12. And then my personal phone is an iPhone 12 mini on which I'm actually shooting this video on. And last but not least, the chair and the footrest. So I bought this IKEA Flinton chair a while ago and to be honest, I absolutely do not recommend it. I had to get some memory foam seating and some memory foam backrest or back support just to make it somewhat decent. I also got this memory foam uh, footrest, which is super comfortable, feels very nice and I put my feet on it like anyone would do. But to be honest, I don't sit too often anymore, so I mostly stand and I use the footrest to get into my favorite standing position, which is one foot on the ground and one foot on the footrest. And that's it. That's the end of my home office video. I hope you liked it. If you did, a sub to my channel would be great. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.